Hey y'all, we're here at Tampa International Airport today. Now this is our home airport. And if you're one of the 22 million people that come through this airport every year, we wanna help you navigate your way through to make it a little easier for you. Yeah, we wanna show you around and take you on a tour, show you how to get through this airport based on what airline you're taking, where you can drop off your okay. passengers, get your rental car and make your way to the terminal. So we wanna help you out and figure out how to get through it. Absolutely, well, we know we can dig this airport cause we're in and out of here all the time, but let's show you how you can dig it and make the most out of it. All right, so like we said, we're gonna take you on a tour of Tampa International Airport. And a fun fact, Tampa International Airport has been JD Power and Associates best large airport in North America for two years in a row. And I'll say, we even get comments from visitors that come in about how easy the airport is to navigate. So I guess that says something. So as you're coming to the airport, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to the color of the signs and the airlines that are on each of the colored signs. There's a red sign and then there's a blue sign that will approach. You'll wanna follow the lanes to your drop off or pick up based on the airline and the color it's associated with. As we approach further, you'll see the blue ones come up and what airlines are associated on the blue side. Here's a sign for the blue terminals and the airlines that are associated with it. As you're driving through, you'll see a lane for the short term and the long term parking garages. And then you'll also see lanes for the blue and the red terminals. If you're going to the parking garage, you'll wanna stay here to your left. We're gonna veer off to the terminals. And as you can see, there's terminal blue and terminal red. And if you need to go to the Marriott Hotel, you'll go to the red terminal. You'll see there are signs clearly marked for arrivals and departures. We're gonna go through the departures. And on the blue side, there are two lanes for departures. There's one that is express, if you have carry-on only, and then one that is bag check-in. Same thing with arrivals. So we're gonna swing through the departures lane with the express carry-on only. All right, as we pull through here, actually look up top, you'll be able to see the tram running through the terminals. But we're gonna pull through here and this is really designed to be a quick drop off. So if they have carry-on luggage, they obviously are expected to not have a ton to load um, into the car or out of the car. So that's why they've designed this and they can just jump out of the car, take the escalators up right to the gates. Now we're going to circle back around and show you the red side. As you can see on the left, there's a sign for the Marriott Hotel. You can see the entrance right over there. This person is trying to get over. There's a lot of construction around Tampa Airport right now. But we're gonna go to the red side, as you can see, similar to the blue, arriving and departing, loading and unloading. However, there is no express lane for drop off or pick up on the red side as of right now. There is construction going on, but soon to come. And if you are dropping someone off who is taking an airline on the red side, this is where they would unload and get into the airport. And this is where you would drop off anyone with regular baggage or carry on as there's no express lane on the red side yet. Now something else we're going to show you at this airport, if you look at that sign right there, there's a post office here at the Tampa airport, which I find really convenient. Um, there's been times where we've been on trips where we've had things that we, you know, maybe want to ship home or can't bring back on the plane. Or there's even been times we've been to concerts and we bought posters and they didn't have those tubes where you can put the posters in. You know, they have those at the post office. This is so convenient if you need to grab something before you either get on your plane or ship something before you go home. Um, this is so convenient. And they even have these mail drop offs too. All right, now if you see this sign to the right here, this is where we're gonna go next. We're gonna show you the cell phone lot. So this is a really convenient lot within the airport where if you are picking someone up and you wanna come a little early, um, you can wait in the cell phone lot. And they even have screens up there, which we'll show you, where you can see all of the incoming flight information. So Tampa is really big about people not um, staying isolated in the pickup and the drop-off area. Areas. They have constant announcements that tell you move on if you are not, you know, loading or unloading your party. So if you're getting there and you're a little early and you just need to wait, the cell 
phone lot is the place to do it. They even have bathrooms there. Um, there's lots of spots, two big screens on each side. So really, really convenient if you're picking someone up and you're early. This is one of the screens here. As you can see, it has the arriving flight, the airline, the flight, the gate number, the schedule, and if it's on time, delayed, or what the status is. All right, so now we're gonna show you two of the three garages and how to navigate those. There's three garages on the site. There's short-term, long-term, and economy. Basically, short-term is the most expensive at $24 for a day, um, but it's the most convenient where you basically just park, get out of your car, take the elevator, right into the the terminal area where you can check your bag and get to your gate so it's pretty convenient then the long term is a little bit cheaper it's 20 dollars max for every 24 hours but you have to take a little walk to the terminal um, but we're also going to show you the economy garage and lot which is the cheapest at 14 dollars every 24 hours but you have to take a tram from the garage to the terminal so it's a little bit of work there but we're going to take you on that journey So this is a short-term parking garage and they show you the rates uh, before you enter as you can see here it is under one hour free 60 to 80 minutes is four dollars with two dollars for each additional 20 minutes and 24 dollars for a max of 24 hours so every day you park there it's a total of 24 hours there's lots of levels on this parking garage. I think there's eight or nine, but it's really convenient. They have lots of signs telling you exactly how many spots are on each level. So as you can see, we pull into the garage here. Four is full. There's 38 on six and a couple hundred on eight. Um, and you can see you can park based red or blue depending which airline you're taking, which I can tell you will be very convenient for your travels through the airport and when you get back. As you can see, the garage is split into red and blue. Again, the color coordination is all throughout the airport. As you can see here, here are some red elevators, which will take you to the airlines on the red side. One thing about Tampa is they're pretty convenient. There's a lot of elevator banks. There's, you know, a lot of indicators on where you need to go and a lot of signage that's very, very helpful. As you navigate through this airport, you can see why it was named America's Best airport because there's so much signage around look at this parking reminders take one so you know you're on level six between aisles five and nine there are signs everywhere about your aisle your space it's really easy to remember where you parked now we're going to take you to the economy lot and this is the cheaper of the lots it's 14 dollars for a max of 24 hours but there's a little bit of work to get to the terminal you have to take a tram but honestly We've started using this garage now when we travel because not only of the price, but we like the experience of taking the tram. It's kind of fun, so we don't mind it. As you can see here, again, lots of signage. You know where you've parked. Level one, aisle five. Take a picture, write it down. We take a picture every time we park so we know exactly where we are when we get back. These are the walkways that will take you from the garage parking space up to where you would get into the elevator to head to the tram, but they were not working that day, so we had to walk, but again, we don't mind. In here are some elevators 
Um, again, lots of uh, reminders and signage for when you return from your trip, but there's little cards to take to remember that you parked on level one in the gold section. So in the economy garage, there's two sections, a gold and a purple. Again, very color coordinated so you can find where you're going very easily. So this is where you'll wait for the train that goes to the rental cars and the terminal. Again, lots of signage and information on both departing and arriving flights. And this is information screens telling you that the tram is coming from the main terminal to pick us up at the economy parking garage. And the next stop will be to the rental cars. And look at that, a plane coming in right there. Welcome to Tampa. All right, so we're gonna get on the tram and we're gonna take you to both the rental car area and the terminal. The tram does go to both. We'll take a nice little ride here. All right, and right as you get off the tram here, there's the rental car area. This is where all the rental car companies are. Budget, Hertz, Alamo, you name it, it's here. And right as you get off the tram, a huge sign to tell you where different sections are. So to the right, we've got the public bus, off airport rental cars. You've got a remote curbside drop-off, luggage drop-off, pickup. We're gonna show you that. Down to the other side, you've got the escalators that go down to where you actually pick up your rental cars, which we will show you as well. But this is a huge, busy area that I don't think a lot of people know. There's a baggage drop off here, so we will definitely make sure to show you that. As you can see here, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to which level the car company you're renting from is on. There are signs on the escalator and the elevator to which level you need to go to to get your car, depending on which company you're using. And behind the elevators are the escalators that you'll take to the rental car area. Now, our preferred rental car place is Hertz. This is not a sponsored post, but Hertz President Circle is a benefit of our American Express Platinum card, and it is a great benefit. We just recently did a video on travel credit cards. Link in the description below. Check it out. All right, now here's a sign that you want to pay attention to. These are the airlines that offer remote bag check, which means if you're in the rental car terminal and you're at least 90 minutes before your flight time, you can use this remote bag check and you don't have to drag your bag all the way back to the terminal. You can drop off your car, drop off your bag, you can take the SkyConnect back to the main terminal and you are ready to go. I tell you, we park in the economy garage and I may even take the tram through the rental car place just to use that remote bag drop so I don't have to drag my bags to the terminal. But here we're gonna take the Sky Connect from the rental car section over to the main gates in the terminal. So enjoy the ride.
All right, now we're getting off the tram at the main terminal, and this is where you will get to your gate or your bag drop off. If you didn't drop off your bags in the rental car space, you will drop off your bags at the appropriate gate down in the main terminal. Look at this beautiful turtle sculpture that's hanging from the ceiling. I tell you, this airport is not just convenient, but it's actually really beautiful too. Really well designed as well. So you'll take the escalator down from the tram terminal and here you will then take another escalator down to where the ticketing and gates are. So now we're gonna take you down to the ticketing and bag check area. So if you're coming through this way and you didn't stop at the rental car place and didn't check your bag, or you got dropped off in the red or blue departures with bags that you needed to check, this is the area you will need to go to. As you see coming down the escalator to the right is the Southwest bag check where you would check in and check your bag. There's different areas for different airlines so you'll just want to look for the signs that direct you to the airline that you're taking. You'll also see these signs that say all gates with those escalators on both sides. After you check your bag in this area you'll then go on either of those escalators to get up to the next level of the terminal where you'll actually go to your gate. As you can see, there's a Spirit and the Breeze bag check-ins. There's a USO office. There's British Airways bag drop. And across the way are American and Delta and Frontier. A lot of the airlines at Tampa Airport are now starting to get those self-service kiosks at other major airports. So for example, you'll see here to the right, Delta has some of them. You can go and scan your boarding pass and print your luggage tags. They also even have a scale there where you can weigh your bags to make sure you are under the 50 pound limit. But they really do everything they can at this airport to make it convenient. They try to make a lot of it self-service and a lot of it just convenient where the crowds can flow through the process and they do a really good job at it. All right, now as we've checked our bag, we're going to take you up to the other part of the main terminal where you would get to your gate that you need to go to depending on the airline you're taking. All right, so we're at the main terminal of the Tampa International Airport. We want to show you guys how to find out where you're going, what gate you need to go to depending on your airline, where to grab a bite to eat, where to get yep. your baggage, and much more. And we're with Phoebe the Flamingo, which is the symbol of the Tampa International Airport. And her name was voted on by the Tampa Bay community, which is cool. So yeah. Phoebe the Flamingo represents TPA. It's right here in the main terminal. Stop by, get your picture. As you can see, plenty of people get their pictures and stop by. It's the main focus here in the terminal. As we pass around Phoebe here, you can see there are lots of shopping options and dining options. There's a Florida store, a PGA store, there's a Starbucks, there's Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, a Hard Rock, a P.F. Chang's, lots of options if you need to grab a bite before or after your flight. This is a little shop in the airport that have things reminiscent of the Tampa Bay area. They have things from the Dolly Museum in St. Pete. And then of course they have the things that have palm trees, alligators, seahorses, um, things that definitely represent Florida.
like I mentioned, a PGA store, lots of shopping options. Um, again, lots of signs to direct you where you need to go depending on the airline and what gate that you're in. And down to the right side will be the hallway that connects the Marriott Hotel that we drove by earlier to the terminal, which is really convenient. Again, here are some of the quick dining options in the main terminal before you get to any of the gates. So if you want to eat with maybe family that's not traveling or, you know, this is the furthest they can go in the airport. So there's lots of options here if you want to grab a bite to eat or spend a little bit more time with those loved ones before you leave. Chick-fil-A, a Florida staple. I'm sure if you're watching, you may be familiar with that. Here's some more signs where you can get to either, you know, bag claim, rental cars, or your gate. So here's an example of one of the gates. This is Airside E. You'll look here at the airlines that leave from Airside E and those gates. Your gate should be on your boarding pass. So if your gate is, for example, 65, it would be E65. F is across the hall there. Um, but basically you scan your boarding pass and the little glass doors open. And then here you would take a tram from the main terminal here over to what's called the air side. So air side E is where Delta, Air Canada, and some other airlines go out of. So these people are headed off from the main terminal over to terminal E where they'll go through TSA and security. There's also a Delta Sky Club in air side E. If you're meeting someone outside of one of these terminal gates, you can look at the airline information here. It has the departure information as well as it will flash up the arrival information so you can see when arriving flights are coming in and you can expect your loved ones getting off the tram. This is Airside A. Again, same setup. Here are the flights that are leaving from Airside A. And there's a PF Chang's right next to Airside A, which is one of our faves uh, of the chains, but it's really cool, this PF Chang's, because they even have an outside area where you can eat outside and look at the trams going back and forth between the terminals, and it's really cool. As you can see here, no shortage of signage. There are signs telling you where you need to go at all times. So this is Airside C, this is another terminal, and this is the airlines that depart from there, the airline airport information, and the dining info as well. Now when you get out of your terminal, you're going to want to pay attention to, again, the color that your airline is associated with because that will determine where you pick up your bags. There's bag claims 1 through 7, which belong to the blue side and those airlines, and then 9 through 15, which belong to the red side and those airlines. But once you get on the escalator and you head down, just look for your flight information on the screen and it'll tell you which belt you need to go to and which side, left or right, you need to go when you get off the escalator. Once you get down to the floor, you can see that there are numbers on the, by the conveyor belts that tell you which belt that is. This is where the TSA pre-check office is as well. So if you live in the Tampa area or if you're traveling and you have an appointment to get your TSA pre-check done, that is where you will go, right near the Alaska Airlines baggage claim. Same thing on the blue side, pay attention to your airline and it'll tell you which belt you can pick up your baggage from. Now when you get down to the red or blue baggage pickup, if someone is picking you up other than a rideshare app, so if you have family or someone you know coming to pick you up, this is where they would go. They would pick you up here at the passenger pickup. If you are taking an Uber or a Lyft, you will not get picked up on level one. You will need to go back up to level three to go to the Blue Express curb to pick up your Uber or Lyft. So make sure you pay attention to those signs. Your Uber or Lyft will not pick you up on level one. You will have to go back up to level three and follow the directions to get the rideshare app ride. 
All right, y'all. Well, hope you enjoyed our tour of Tampa International Airport. We hope all the tips and tricks we gave you will help you next time you make your way through Tampa. Yeah, come check out this outside space. There's lots of different eateries in the main terminal. Give yourself some time to get through it. This is a really cool airport. We're going to sit outside and have this drink. Yeah, absolutely. P.F. Chang's has an outside patio. As you can see, there. There's the horse. Yeah, the infamous P.F. Chang's yeah, horse. <laughs> infamous P.F. Chang's horse. You just kind of sit out here, enjoy some of the weather, and see what's going on. As and here you goes see, the tram. The tram behind us is heading out to the economy parking. So, yeah, definitely, like I said, hope these tips and tricks helped and hope to see you around Tampa. Cheers. Cheers. All right, and off we go. Well, thanks again for joining us. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate it. If you like this, please give us a thumbs up. It helps our channel grow. And subscribe if you want some more travel-related content. Cheers till next time.